the songwriting process has always been a really simple one for me. Grab a guitar, put down an idea, and build the instrumentation around it. Sometimes it's hard to remember to come back to the songwriting. So I'm trying to spend some time on the 7 a.m. song. And in my head, I always had it in the back of my mind. You know the satellite radio, and you can pick the mood that you're in, you know, to listen to music that suits the mood. And the one that's always attracted me when I go listen to the streaming services is the coffee house acoustic music. Pure singer-songwriter kind of vibe, you know? And that's what I wanted for the 7 a.m. song. I've got a chord progression in mind, finally. It goes something like this. And I don't imagine there's gonna be much else except for some acoustic guitar and some lyrics. But the thing that happens, little shakers and backup vocals, and there could very well be 50 tracks on this sucker before the end, <laughs> who knows? So to all of you artists who have already gone through the process of releasing your very first single or album or whatever, kudos to you because uh, you already know that there's a whole bunch of hoops that you have to jump through in order for that whole process to finally come to completion. And especially during pandemic, there's a ton of people, you know, like me that are writing songs and, oh, I'm going to get creative and putting stuff out there. There's so much content. It's like unbelievable. So all of the sites that you go to, that you visit, whether it's a publishing or, you know, a digital distribution, they all say, may take longer than expected. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. And I'm just really nonchalant about it because it's my first, but it certainly won't be my last time that I release a song online. And uh, I'm just loving the process. I've successfully registered with my performing rights organization here in Canada called SoCan. I've signed up for professional distribution with CD Baby. I'm starting to claim my artist pages on Spotify and iTunes. And there's this whole like world of music distribution that is like brand new to me. If anyone would have told me a year ago, Tebow, this is the kind of stuff you're going to be focusing on a year from now. I would have been excited, but I would have been like, that's... No, that, that can't be. And yeah, it, it totally is. It's amazing. Chaos truly brings incredible things. <laughs> it, it feels like fucking forever since I opened these projects. I mean, I was just, I was in the thick of doing guitars and basses and stuff. And then whoop, I got sidetracked. Well, I sidetracked. I, I went on to other things that have to be done in order to release music, you know. But it's good to come back to and just hit play and like, oh, I like this very much. I'm looking at Silent Running, which is the 4 a.m. song in the 24, 24 song project. It's the submarine song. It's uh, going into deep sleep after a crazy night of partying. The, the, the main character, I, I, I can't necessarily call him a protagonist because he does some pretty nasty shit. The main character of this 24 song project has gone through crap. Uh, since, you know, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., and it's like, it's finally slumber time. Listening to this after almost a month of being away is really refreshing because I think I, I captured the, the essence of what I wanted to do. I've always struggled with that because I felt like so compelled to compare myself with other songwriters, and that's shit. You should never do that. And the thing that I try and remember that I've picked up from various wise artists out there in the world that always say there's nobody else in the world that can write the way you do and that's what I have to remember did I do the best job that I can do and I think this is a good reflection of that so this is definitely going to be my second release I'm not necessarily going in chronological order with the 24 songs uh, for various reasons this is definitely going to be the second release and I might try doing it with distro kid happy friday I, I don't know why we say happy friday it doesn't matter during pandemic every day is the same right <laughs> it doesn't make a difference anymore fridays just come with this good vibe right everyone feels good on a friday so uh, i'm feeling great today releasing my first single or the process of getting ready to release that single has been such an educational thing for me you know i mean uh, i never knew how much was involved in getting a song ready to release to the public. If you do things right, I mean, there's nothing stopping you from just throwing a song on SoundCloud and say, here, listen. But the point is, you kind of want to have all of the little ducks in a row. You want to get all of your sort of administrative stuff taken care of. And that's what I've been doing. And I'm learning along the way. Man, I think I feel like I could write a book about it now. Figuring out copyright, royalties, publishing, distribution. You know, in the world of streaming and online, things have changed a little bit. 
but they didn't get less complicated. <laughs> they just stayed as complicated as ever. Copyright is not an easy thing to navigate. Some of my friends out there are with indie labels or big labels, and uh, there's people that take care of that kind of stuff, and I totally get why, because when you're doing it yourself, when you're totally 100% indie, it's a, it's a lot to navigate the first time through. But generally speaking, I find that the community around this is very helpful. And even the organizations that you have to deal with, your performing rights organizations and those publishers and all that, you know, if you get the right person on the right day of the week, excellent, excellent support. But it happens sometimes where your emails go unanswered and you're just waiting on information so that you can get some shit done. Man, it's not a fun thing to navigate. I won't pretend to be an expert and I won't even say, contact me for advice because I am not, you know, someone who knows a lot about it. I just know what I went through and how to get from A to B. And literally, I'm at B and I'm done. <laughs> I don't want to be an expert on this. I just know that once things are set up, and for instance, you got your Spotify and your Apple Music and all of those vehicles are ready to go because then you can just sort of release your music and know that it's gonna end up in the right places. Finding out the details and how to get there, that's the challenge. I feel like I've overcome a lot of those hurdles now and I can actually get back to songwriting.